Now we want to ask the question of whether or not this merger is going to happen. It certainly seems to be a sure thing when you talk to Wall Street analysts, but we do want to get the details on what some of the sticking points may actually be here. Uh, we're going to turn to John Harkrider. He's a partner at Axon Veltrip and Harkrider. That's a mouthful. I hope I got that pronunciation <laughs> sure right there. But when we talk to Wall Street analysts, they right. say this is political theater. This mm -hmm. is going to happen, this merger. Yes. Is that a sure bet? I think it is. I think there's no question that the deal is going to go through. I think the question is going to be what conditions are going to be demanded by the FCC and the antitrust division. Uh, but there's precedent for deals like this, uh, and it's really just a question of whether uh, there are going to be conditions that are going to allow both access uh, to subscribers and access to content. What some? What are some of those conditions? What might they look like? Because I do see right. here that you've said, you know, you can't license content to carriers that compete with. BIOS or direct TV. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are some very specific provisions that are going to have to be addressed here. Yeah, I, so I think the two big issues are access to subscribers and access to content. So access to subscribers means that Comcast won't be able to disadvantage uh, competitors to NBC Universal who want to have access to Comcast subscribers. And then on the flip side, uh, there are going to be conditions that are going to require that Comcast uh, make sure that its content is available to its competitors. You know mm -hmm. that the NBC Universal uh, content is available to you know Directv, FiOS, Dish Network, etc. So they can't disadvantage competitors, yeah. but they can certainly give more advantage <laughs> to right. NBC. Yeah, no, no, and, and so to some extent, this is a regulatory question, right. um, and you know the government doesn't really want to be involved in either uh, you know price regulation or want to look over the shoulder and make sure that they're involved in every single negotiation that Comcast is involved in. But if you look at prior precedent, mm -hmm. for example, uh, the 1996 deal be between uh, Time Warner and Turner, there were conditions. You know, that was also a merger between a cable provider and a content provider. Right. And there were a number of conditions that were imposed by, at that time, the FTC, including a woman who was the FTC, an FTC commissioner who is now the head of the United States Department of Justice Antitrust Division. And she had a separate statement mm -hmm. setting forth her concerns to that deal. And you can map on the remedy that was in that deal, I think, pretty cleanly onto the, what the re likely remedy is going to be for this deal. What we might see here. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Thank you so much sure. uh, for giving us that analysis. That's John Harkrider uh, giving us uh, some expertise there from some of the many mergers that you've helped oversee.